In this video, we will show you how to replace your outer tie rod end. Let's get started. Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. The first thing you need to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. Make sure you have the suspension hanging. After that, you're gonna remove all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now that we have the wheel off, the next thing you want to do is make your way in between the outer tie rod end and the inner tie rod end to the jam nut. We're going to have to loosen this jam nut away from the outer tie rod end. To do that, I'll hold the outer tie rod end with a 22 millimeter wrench and use some long pliers to turn this to loosen it. Make sure the jam nut's broken free. Next, we can move along to our outer tie rod end nut. To remove this, we'll use a 15 millimeter socket. Start that on just a couple threads. Now we'll continue on with a hammer. We're gonna give the knuckle a couple loving bonks right along this area to try to cause some vibration to shake the outer tie rod end free from it. Once you have that off of there, you're gonna start unscrewing the outer tie rod end. It's important to make sure you count the amount of turns it takes to remove it. One, two, and so on. There it is, friends. Now that we have the outer tie rod end off of there, continue on by cleaning up the inner tie rod end threads. Give them a close inspection. Once you're sure they look good, continue on with some copper never sees. Now we can install our outer tie rod end. Let's take this and turn it on the same amount of threads as it took to remove it originally. One, two, and so on. Take that tie rod and slide it through your knuckle. Once you have it on there, continue on with a nut. We'll use a 16 millimeter to tighten this nut. Once you have it snug, continue on by torquing it to 35 foot pounds. Continue on with your locking cotter pin. Looking at the nut, you can tell that it has several slots making its way around. You wanna make sure that one of those slots lines up with the corresponding hole in the tie rod end. If for some reason it does not, continue tightening the nut until the very next slot does. Peen over your locking cotter pin so there's no way this nut can loosen up while you're driving down the road. Bottom out your jam nut against the outer tie rod end. After that, hold your tie rod end still while you continue tightening the jam nut. The torque for the jam nut should be approximately 56 foot pounds. If you can't torque it, at least make sure it's nice and tight. It's bottomed out there. Let's take it a little bit further. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the outer tie rod end is parallel to the knuckle. Just give it a little twist as needed. Okay friends, now we can reinstall our wheel. Once you have it in place, continue on by putting all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts on. Once they're started, bottom them out. We'll get the wheel safely back on the ground and then torque them to 100 foot-pounds. Torqued. Okay friend, we showed you how to install your tie rod end. 
At this point, you want to take your vehicle for a road test. Make sure you don't hear any funny noises and get yourself safely down to your local alignment shop. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.